Hurricane Irma on a path towards Florida. I'm UF forecaster Lee Southwick. By Saturday, winds at 155 miles per hour. That's a Category 4 and could make landfall in South Florida as a Category 4 with sustained winds up to 135 miles per hour, even stronger wind gusts. By Monday, still a Category 1 somewhere up in Georgia. This hurricane could track all the way up the Florida Peninsula. So here in North Central Florida, we do need to be prepared. So for Friday, we do have a bit drier air in, in place and we'll have some lower rain chances. I'll track that for you in just a moment. But Irma is going to elevate our rain chances this weekend and you need to stay informed. We could see tornadoes from this. We could see strong wind gusts and of course localized flooding from all the rainfall. So download our app Florida Storms and make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Florida Storms and at UF Weather. We do live uh, Facebook lives that you can ask questions for us and uh, we will answer all your questions concerning Irma. And for our hour by hour this evening, they'll bring it back more locally. 6 a.m. a low of 69 here in Gainesville. Rain chances do stay low. Skies will be mostly cloudy tomorrow. Heating up to the upper 80s, 88 in Gainesville, 88 in Ocala, 86 in Lake City. And we do have a chance of showers. It's more at 30%. They're going to be coming off the Atlantic coast and be more in our southern uh, our more southern counties. And then our rain chances do rise as we head towards the weekend, 50% on Saturday, and then heading into Sunday and Monday, all eyes on Irma.